hey guys welcome to excel tutorial channel again and in this video we are going to cover vlookup function in excel vlookup is very popular and most used function in excel because if you want to look up some value vlookup comes very handy i have categorized this video into different parts okay so first will be the basic to advanced example where we will cover the basic arguments of vlookup to get you the idea if you are coming first time to this video and haven't watched the overview video of lookup functions so then we will discuss the exact versus approximate match where to use exact matches where to use approximate match and the power of approximate match then we will use wildcard matches in excel we look up do, does support wildcard match wildcard matches we have also discussed in the other video which i have made standalone video for the same which which you can find in our channel or in the description box and then we are going to discuss the we look up first match and how to resolve the same and then the two way look up or you can say a multiple criteria which you can have in your worksheet we can also discuss that part also and in the end we are going to discuss various errors occurs actually the main error is any error not applicable error which you can incur while typing the vlookup function you can cover that with the help of helper function so mainly we are going to discuss various scenarios under vlookup function in this video so if you haven't watched that overview video of lookup function do that and if you want to subscribe to this channel please do it because in the upcoming days we're going to cover each and every function in detail so let's get started so here we have very basic here in the first part we are going to discuss various arguments of vlookup function through the basic example here we have the row number 1 to 12 here which i have used in the drop down notes which you can create with the help of data validation and here we have the first name the last name and email so here we have the box which is the sorting box you can say we need to find first last and email with the help of the row number which is selected here okay so in the first part in the first name let's just type our formula so we have the we look up here in the first argument we have the look up value which will be this we need to find this value in this particular table okay so first thing first we look up wins vertical look up it will look up vertically and to the right okay it won't look vertically to the left which we will cover in the upcoming examples also v lookup means the vertical lookup looks to, towards the down and to the right okay so here we select the row number cell which is j4 and now in the next argument table array which will be this right and just lock it down with the help of f4 key why you need that f4 key because if you apply this to next it will create a error because you haven't fixed this particular range here okay or you can say array here so with the help of f4 you can fix that array as you can see the dollar symbol here which is for the same so column index number for the first name is second why second see the column number we look up uses from starts from the one first will be the row number second third four and as a default excel counts from the zero but in the vlookup it counts from the one one two three and four okay so first name is in the second column so we just type the second so in next is it a approximate match or exact match so it is indeed a exact match we just select that and close the parenthesis here let's see if we find the answer or not so first name of sixth row number is davis which is right and similarly we are going to find the last name and the email okay let me just apply this to all okay you get the same answer davis 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 but you don't need to change much except a column number okay in the last name here we need to find last name last name is the column number is this local value will be the same the row number and table array will be the same and in the next we need to change only the column index number here which is three there you go so we get the davis alfonso and in the email part we just need to select the next column 
which is the fourth to write down the email here so there you go you get the email of davis alfonso so you just need to select the any other number here in the list so it will change these values automatically hope you get the idea of how we lookup function works so it takes the four argument lookup value table array column index number and range lookup few moments ago i have said it only looks towards the right so let me enter some formula here to demonstrate that we will take the last name as the basis and we will look up for the first name okay as we know the last name will be the okay the vertical is right we get the vertical data here but as we know we look up works towards the right not towards the left so we will take the last name as our basic look up value to find first name okay which is on the left so let me just type out the formula here there you go so lookup value will be this let me just log the c part here and in the table array we just need to select the table array like this log this and the next part the column index number column index will be the first and now see the outcome here we will select the exact match close down so we get the not applicable why because we have looking up the value of last name for first name which is on the left side of the selected cell so it won't revert anything except errors like this so there you go if you apply to these next cells you get the same so hope you get the idea how we look up function works until now and how it works like from the vertical to the right not to the left and to resolve to the left part you can use other functions which is x lookup all index and match and for the both i have covered in the hindi language if you know the language you can see the video in the description box so in the next part we are going to cover exact match versus approximate match and i have the perfect example for that here we have the data so if you want to practice along with me you can find link of this sheet in the description box okay so we have this let user sakra this is all the products we have quantity which is quantity sold and we have the price and we have the total sales amount here and we also have the discount here and we have the sorting table of discounts which is order 0 to 10 minimum order 0 and discount will be 0 percent okay and for the same we have all the sorting values 11 to 20 11 minimum and 5 percent discount and for the same we on the basis of these particular values we will input the value here let's see with the help of exact match we can find or not just type the formula here so lookup value will be the quantity because minimum order will be based on the quantity here let me just fix the column here b not two we are not going to fix the second cell but we are going to fix the b column here and in the table array here we have the table array and let's just fix that with the help of f4 and the next the column index number column index is second so we just type second and we yes first we are dealing with the exact match let's see if we get the answer or not so close the parenthesis let's see yes we get the 20 10 percent discount on 21 quantity sold if we see yes we have the 21 to 10 percent but if we apply to all we get errors because we have quantity like 26 35 and 29 okay and to resolve this we have other helper option which is approximate match and if we select the approximate match here okay let's see what we get if you apply to all so yes we get the approximate matches on the basis of quantity sold. so it knows like 26 we have 10 percent so yes we have a 10 percent 35 35 we have this right you can also resolve this with the help of power query also which we have covered all in previously and you can also use the approximate match hope you understand where to use exact match or approximate match in excel and with the help of this you can find the discounted price for your customer okay so in the next part we are going to learn wildcard operators in vlookup function see vlookup function does supports wildcard Okay, which makes it possible to perform a partial match on a lookup value like we have a filter here which is kar 
and if we see our values in the first name here we have the caron right which starts from the kar see while we have two kinds of wildcard operator let me just put it down here we have asterisk mark or you can say star mark or you can call whatever you want and we have the question mark here so for the asterisk mark where we use and where we use this question mark see if you want to find any text string after this kar you can use asterisk okay and if you want to find prior to kar you can use the question mark here okay so let me just put it into practice here we look up so look up value will be this let me just put the fixation here and the table array will be this so column number will be one because it's in the one and we have the exact match so now we have put the look up value here now we need to add the wild card here because we doesn't know or you may not remember the name of that particular employee or student name or etc so you know the first initials like kar and to add a wild card match and we will use the asterisk for the same and to add the wild card we just add the and operator here and quote unquote the asterisk mark like this okay now close the parenthesis let's see if we find the answer or not so yes we find the answer which is carol so hope you understand how to use these wildcard operators in vlookup to find the partial match in the lookup value so in the next part we are going to cover a little detail about vlookup and also its limitations you can say vlookup only return the first match okay if you are looking for multiple matches you can either use other function but if you are looking for one or first outcome you can use vlookup let me just explain with the help of example so we have a student name here which is a drop down list okay and as you can see we have the students joseph joshua etc to be you know repetitive you can say so joseph has run one mile but he also ran afterwards 5 miles more and then he has run the 10 okay let me just select the joshua here so if we just look up with the help of we look up the runs by joshua so look up value will be this let me just fix it table array will be this okay let me also just fix that so column number will be second exact match so it will just re return only the first value which is 8 but we also have 5 we also have 10 so if you have incurred such situation in your worksheet then you should not use we lookup function you should use either filter function here so how to use that filter function let me just put it down here so filter here we have the array here and so we have a joshua in this particular range or you can say column so we just select this column the best practice is to lock it down now what to include either you can input your own value under the in between the quote and quote or i just select this okay if empty if it doesn't found so you can either say not ran or not found like this if we close the parenthesis let's see yes we get the answer so you can select other students also carol so it she ran two times and if we say joshua and you can filter that easily with the help of filter function so hope you understand we look up only find the first outcome in your table array so in this next chapter we are going to cover the two way look up okay what is two way look up let me demonstrate a situation to you so here we have the name here right jane do carol devi joshua kimik etc and we have the year here as you can see we have selected the this particular range and for the name we have selected this so we, you may have data with the multiple values here like joseph this is a have sales in 2019 2020 2021 and you have such data if you want to sort that with the help of we lookup you can easily do that but you may need a helper function in this scenario let me just go down to the solution such that you will get what i'm trying to say 
so here we have we look up okay so look up value will be joshua kimic right let me just fix that up in this array or you can say table array right we are working until now now column index number see the column index we have this particular here but we cannot include that why because if we just include that it won't revert anything and hence the error hence the error which is not applicable okay so in, in the column index to determine the column index number we should use a function which returns the position of that cell right and to determine that we have a match function so match function we will use the match function to locate the needed column so let's just put the match function here lookup value will be this h3 lock it up lookup array will be this because we need to include employee name also because as we know counting of column starts from the one right so match type will be exact and in the last argument of vlookup we have exact match let me just select the false here close the parenthesis and click enter so let's see if we get the right answer or not joshua kimic in 221 yes he got the 360 and if you want to browse other you can also browse that so you have also created a little sorting tool here to find the sales of your desired employee hope you get to know by now how to use wheel lookup function in different scenario and in the next part we are going to deal with the errors we look up and an a errors suppose you have loads of entries in your excel and you may have input the correct formula but but still there are so many errors which we have incurred mainly we look up reverts an a errors which is not applicable error so you may have incurred an a error like this which you can see right here and your formula may be right but maybe the outcome isn't maybe some values are missing and some criteria are not fulfilling in according to the vlookup formula so to cover that error we can use helper function so you can use if error function and for the na part you can also use if and a function which cover or you can say which trap these errors with your default value how you can do that just wrap this particular formula with the help of if error okay so here we have the value argument you just don't need to change that and in the value if error part you just defined your default value here i will say not found so that there you go but in our case formula is wrong because we have used the exact match here and if we apply to true here like this this error will go so hope you find how to trap these errors with the help of vlookup and a helper error like if error you can also use other functions like if n a is error or n number of functions which are already available in your excel so hope you find this video useful if you find this this video useful please click the like button if you want to share this with your friend family or colleagues you can also share it if you want to watch such video in future you can also subscribe to this channel we are going to cover each and every function in detail so you should look forward to this channel so see you in the next video until then bye bye